Hi everyone, this is Susie, and I'm really excited to share with you the new um, Easter basket kiss kit from uh, Flair by Me. Hi Melanie, um, I received my kit just now, and I thought it would be really exciting to do a reveal of uh, what's in my design team kit for this month. So I'm just going to share with you the opening. I took it out of the envelope just for time uh, safekeeping for the video. And so, as you can see, she's actually, this is really cute the way you did this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look at that. Okay. So, um, you can definitely use this netting that she had uh, put in here, that's for sure. And I'll probably use that. I love using netting in my projects. And you can see the basket here, which I'll show a little bit better uh, once I empty it out. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Oh, this is so beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, look at this beautiful trim. I just want to make sure that I'm in picture. This is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, how beautiful is that? And I'm just getting my ruler so that I can show you <clears throat> that this is roughly uh, almost ten and a half inches long, and the widest side is four inches. And um, this is beautiful. This is a very beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, there's a lot of pearl and sequin work in this, and it is all white on a netting background. Thank you so much. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just getting over an unbelievable cold. And here are some doilies in white and in cream. And the way you see it, I'm sure this is the way your kit is going to arrive. How beautiful. So many fun things to make with these doilies. Daisies. How pretty. Look at that. And this is ready to craft with. You could do whatever you want with that. Oh my goodness, I love flowers and lavender. So beautiful. Such a great Easter color. Look at that. Did you make these? So pretty. With a, um, a pearlized uh, a white center. Beautiful. And a flat back. A rosette in uh, lavender, but this is like a deeper lavender. It may have a little undertone of, of a pink in there because this is a real true lavender color. Very pretty. This is beautiful. This is um, rosettes, and in the background are like um, very pretty leaves with like a very nice trim that's uh, turned into like the, the shapes of leaves with silver sequins in between each leaf. And this is also lavender. It's very pretty. You can cut them out and use them as two separate appliques. And just in case anyone wants to know, the whole entire piece is roughly six inches a little bit more. Beautiful. And these are so pretty. My last kit I had one in cream. They're beautiful. And if anyone wants to know, um, this flower from end to end is one and a half inches, so it's really a, a nice substantial size flower in lavender with a rhinestone center. So pretty. I'm trying to open all the flowers first. Another beautiful rosette in the same color, that lavender color, lavender pinkish color. And I believe these are one of Melanie's handmade rosettes. And this looks like it may be in like a muslin type fabric. Very pretty with a flat back of, um, this is probably like a, a hard uh, or a stiffened felt. Oh, and these are so much fun to work with. I, I've, I've worked with these in the past. These are really great. Thank you so much, Melanie. Um, these are like um, nylon uh, little round type leaves with um, like silver edging. It's kind of like a, a wire. They don't really move anywhere unless you want them to. But these are so pretty. You get four of those. Thank you very much. And 
another really pretty applique. Uh, two flowers, one on top of the next with a pearl center. How cute this is. What is that? Oh, this is like a little tin box. Ooh, how cute. I'll save that for a little while from now. <laughs> I didn't know there was stuff in there. I wanted to have like a little bowl for it. Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, how pretty. A very pretty lavender um, trim, lace trim, scalloped on the bottom and scalloped on the other side. One side is, is a larger scallop. And um, this is two inches in the width. Very pretty. Thank you, Mel. And thank you for the note. And it's my pleasure. Um, oh, this is very pretty. I've, I've never seen one like this, actually. This is like ruffled, uh, ruffled, um, like a ruffled rosette. It's very pretty. It's in a cream color. I love that. Thank you. I think that might be it on the flower. Oh, no. Here's a little, like, um, felt bow with, um, like these, uh, tinsel... Uh, around it like a very soft tinsel in a, in a shimmery white very pretty and if anyone know, wants to know how big that is uh, that is a little about almost one and a half inches in the width that's very adorable thank you okay oh I love this how beautiful is that a uh, scallop trim and um, I would say that this is definitely a quarter of an inch in the width. Very, very pretty, like an acru cream. Thank you. I, just, I like um, laying out the laces, actually. I'm just going to move some of this over. I'm hoping that I'm in full picture, at least. Let me just check. <laughs> so far, so good, right? Okay. So, very pretty. I don't know. I like doing this for the presentation, not just to, sh you know, um, for myself to lay it out and look at it again, but, you know, to uh, show you as someone who's wanting to purchase something like this. This is gorgeous. And you can see I made, I knew this is going to be in the purple family, so I have purple velvet for the background. Look how gorgeous that is. This is so pretty. Um, it's a daisy trim. And you get a really nice piece of it. Um, I don't know how long it is, but let's see. I can tell you that. Um, you're getting 12. It looks, like, it looks like 16 inches you're getting of this. Really very pretty. This is such a nice kit. It's very full. So, so pretty. Thank you so much. And here's another... Um, she knows I like the creams and whites. Um, this is another beautiful um, trim. Very, very pretty. It's also a cream color, and it looks like it has small floor de -lis. I'll put it down so you can see it on a darker color. With scallops, very pretty, and that's probably like, let's see. Just in case, those of you who want to know, this is an inch in the width. Really nice. It's always nice to have really big pieces of, of fabrics and I mean excuse me trims and narrow pieces like this for smaller projects so very pretty thank you so much beautiful and here's another um, narrow trim this is beautiful also and uh, this is also in that lavender color so so pretty has little tiny daisies with daisies with netting. Very beautiful. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, I see a tiny flower. Oh, how cute. Look at that. <laughs> I missed out on that with the flowers. It's so pretty. Oh, look at this. How pretty is that? Oh, my goodness, Mel. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, my goodness. This actually looks like... um. Like, you put two laces together and made one, and it's great. It's actually already ruffled, so you don't have to ruffle the bottom part. I like it because the bottom part's ruffled, the top part is straight, and it has an intertwine of lavender ribbon going through the, um, 
very pretty going through the the uh, openings of the top of the lace the lace is white and the ribbon is lavender that's beautiful and for those of you who like to know um, this one is from end to end one and a half thank you so much Melanie that's adorable I love that I'm just gonna move this over I just want to make sure you guys are still able to see. Yep. Okay, this is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so pretty. You have to get this kit. It's one inch in the width. And make sure you let her know that Susie sent you. <laughs> I want to know how many people are watching my video here. Anyway, this is gorgeous. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Great for any bridal project, anything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. It has uh, small daisy flowers. One daisy has five petals. The other one has four. And they are all filled with pearls and pretty leaves. And they are on an organza background. Very nicely sewn in there. Just beautiful. Thank you. Very, very pretty. Here's another beautiful trim. And this one is small rosettes all across the board. And if you want, you can cut them out and use them for different projects um, or different parts of your one project. And you can also use the leaves. So really beautiful. And this one is white. Thank you. Here's another small flower. Not small. This is also a very nice size. Uh, from end to end, it's one and a half inches. And this is in a cream color. So beautiful. Thank you, Melanie. I'll just um, get the other one. Where is it hiding under here somewhere? Here it is. So you see you're getting one in that lavender, uh, one in the white, and a tiny in the cream, and one in the white. And there's so much in here. This, this is packed. Here's another beautiful lace. Wow, that is so pretty. So the scallop itself is one and a half inches, a little one and a half inches, and so is the point one and a half inches. So you have one and a half from scallop to scallop. Very, very pretty. It has white sequins on it, and the ends have pearls on each one. Very beautiful. Thank you. That is so pretty, Melanie. I love the way this kit was put together. Very well thought out with a color scheme. I love it. And this one is another um, trim. Very pretty. Um, scallops, different like flourishes going through. Um, they have these um, bugle beads that have a really nice uh, white on white shimmer with a sequin and a pearl throughout. Very beautiful. And this one is probably also uh, from end to end it's a little over half an inch so it's a really nice substantial piece oh this is really beautiful thank you so much Melanie look at this guys so pretty this is another scallop trim with uh, white sequins and pearls on a white organza background so beautiful and again I, I try to do this to help you guys imagine if you want to know it's two inches in the scallop and in the point it's almost reaching two inches and every single um, scallop piece here has a sequence in it I hope you're able to see that with the light I can it's beautiful and then at the bottom here you're getting a really nice piece of fabric. Oh, this is so pretty. And um, this is very wide. Um, from end to end, it is uh, four and a half inches. You've got a really nice scallop, and you've got um, a lot of embroidery here of flowers, the stem, and the leaves. Um, you can do a lot of things with this. I mean, I'm not going to share my idea yet, I'm just going to make it. So um, really very pretty. Um, you can, but what you can do if you're wondering what am I going to do with that? I mean, there's so many ideas for a piece of fabric in this substantial size, anywhere from flowers to book covers 
um, to making uh, your own um, your own type of trim where you know some people I mean I have in the past if you go back in my videos a long while ago when Prima came out with their their trims they they came out with trim and everybody was trying to replicate their own and I had done the same similar but not the same but just tried to show you what you can do with something like this so for those of you who want to try to make um, their own trim using something like this uh, you, you certainly can um, you can ruffle the trim and then you can do the center like that if you like by sewing it down of course or you can use the white on white like that and make your own trim or you can use the cream, which I don't know, I wouldn't use the cream, it doesn't actually go. You can add flowers in there. Um, there's so many different things that you can do. Just thank you so much, Melanie. This is a really nice piece of fabric trim. And then we have the basket, which is uh, made of um, felt. Um, I don't know if you made this, Melanie. If you did, you did a really great job. It's very pretty. Uh, the handle is uh, hand woven, almost like a braid, um, and there are, uh, I would say, let me see, let me just measure it for you, for those of you who want to know. It is six and a half inches in the width, a really nice size uh, that you can certainly alter, and I have already have ideas for mine. I can't wait to share it. It's really a great little piece. I mean, for those of you who want to do it up for an Easter basket, you can, and for those of you who don't do Easter, this would be such an adorable basket to design completely and then fill it with like soaps or anything like that and put it in your bathroom. Just so pretty. Or you can even really pretty it up a lot and maybe put some legs on the bottom and have it as a little perfume table. So there's so many um, great ideas to do with something like this. And now, drum roll, da -da -da -da. This is so cute. You can alter this little tin as well. Absolutely adorable. I'm just going to move this stuff over so we have a dark background so um, that you can get a better handle on what's inside. So we have your standard uh, stick pins with a pearl top. And I love these. You can never have enough of those, which you can design them with beadings and and, and other embellishments that you may want to add on there or just use it to help you sew along in your projects. Oh, this is very beautiful. Here is a metal button that has a diamond circle and pear-shaped stones all the way around. And the uh, center pearl is your cream-colored pearl. There is a shank on the background of metal. It is not plastic. Um, and I don't think it's plastic. No, it's not plastic. It's metal. Uh, seems to be metal. It's pretty heavy, yeah. And um, and you can use this. I mean, anything goes here. If you're going to make a flower with it, you're going to put it on, sew it onto a blouse, onto your hat, you know, onto the side of a glove, um, make a bracelet, use this as a, a center bracelet, a corsage. I mean, anything really goes. It's just absolutely beautiful. So thank you so much. That was so nice of you. Oh, what's this? It's so cute. Look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, how cute. Can you see that? It's a little bunny rabbit. Like, um, <laughs> that is adorable. Where did you get this from? How cute. Oh, it's like, um, a porcelain little bunny rabbit. That's really cute. And if you if you are doing the Easter theme, I mean, I would say that you can definitely make a little stick pin out of him. How cute is of her? That's adorable. Thank you. Aw, thank you so much, Melanie. It's really cute. Oh, and here's a really pretty bead. This is also another porcelain bead. And it's got like mauve and purple splash of color with a white background. And this is also a really nice uh, pearl bead. Maybe if you're making some type of a keychain or whatever, add onto your project. Or um, if you do want to add it onto your, um, as a dangle onto your uh, pin, you, you certainly can do that. I've done that 
in the past. I'm just looking around to see where it would be in my craft room to show you, but I there's so much here I can't even find it even if I wanted to. Um, okay, that's very pretty. Oh, here's oh it's a rhinestone button with the shank, very pretty. And a purple crystal, that's very pretty. And there's some lavender pearls in here. And there's some also white uh, sparkly pearls with like uh, the sparkle is kind of like blue and pink. Very pretty. And um, some more lavender beads. And another. Oh, and these are very nice also. These. Um, oval shaped beads very pretty I mean for those of you who may be new to like buying kits and stuff like that these are great because you have like an array of everything to try out and there's just so much here and if you've never made a stick pin before which I'm sure most of you have but there are plenty of people out there who are really new to the crafting world so just you might be saying to yourself what am I going to do with all of those beads so um, if you'd like to make um, some type of bead design uh, for your project, I mean, you can certainly put together, you know, like something like this. And then, um, I don't know if it's going to fit in there. Yes, it does. And see, there you have like a really pretty stick pin right there. And, um, you know, for example, if you're trying to make a presentation of some kind, you know, you can certainly do something like that. And um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get an idea to just show you, like, if you were to add on, like, a store-bought flower, those are one of the flowers that I make, you know, to something like that. Look how beautiful that would look with the stick pin. And, um, of course, you know, it goes without saying uh, that you can also... Uh, if you're doing a, a special project for somebody, if you're making like a pillow or some kind of perfume sachet or any other kind of um, altered book, photograph album of some sort, and you're you know using like your two flowers overlapping each other and you have your fabric there, you can most, uh, most definitely, um, you know, add on anything. I'm sorry, I was just thinking and I lost my train of thought for a moment there. You see, so you can certainly have, you know, two pins of different uh, different design next to each other. See that? And then you have the, the flower. So, so pretty. If you're making some kind of a, a gift or you want to like maybe use this, you know, buying somebody a gift for Valentine's Day or Easter and you want to use this fabric to wrap the gift in, you can do that too. Very, very pretty. There's so many different ways to use uh, the, um, the beading and so on. I mean, if you have a project and you want to just, you know, add a little, you know, dimension to something along the way, uh, and you want to sew on your, your beads to, like, this one's not staying on purpose, the beads to the center of, of a flower, you can. Is that going to stay? Maybe, yeah. So you see that's the center of that one there. You can sew the bead on just to give it a little bit of, of color somewhere. It depends on whatever you're making. Um, I love the, the fabric here. It's um, You get a lot of ideas. As you can see, I got so many things popping into my head. Uh, what I can make, I was trying to share a few things with you, <clears throat> excuse me, down the line. Uh, what you know what I can do uh, with this really great piece of fabric here I mean you know <clears throat> you're giving your kids like some money or something like that for the holiday you can certainly make a little envelope thingy right out of this here right and then you can get your, your flower right here and just glue that on or tie it on or even more so I mean everybody loves daisies when the springtime comes I know I love roses are my favorite, but I do love the daisy. So um, you can certainly have something like that where you can, you know, do it as a little gift thingy. Um, if you have 
you know time and you want to start messing around with the um, with these these are so much fun um, you can actually what I've done in the past is you can uh, make sachets out of these you can get a sewing machine or by hand sew around stuff them you know um, and then if you want you can get like a flower and put it in the center and then maybe even get like this narrow piece of trim right here and you know you can have like it as a little hanger there instead of using like seam binding or rope or something like that I mean anything goes there's so many different um, you know different ideas that you can get using this package to make pretty little gifts for the holiday of Easter and or Passover uh, whatever um, holiday or both um, that you may be sharing with your friends and family um, and if you're not into any of the holidays at all that's okay too because you can make like mega gifts over here for yourself and, um, and just have a great time doing it with all these beautiful products from Flair by me um, please check out the drop down box below and hopefully you can go on over to the store and get some of this for yourself before this package goes thanks everybody and thank you Melanie for sending me the package Everyone have a nice weekend. Bye.